How was his face like? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Jam the brakes, right? It was crazy. Yeah. So we just want to show that. Um, yeah. Drive safe. <laughs> did the did the guy like? The guy literally like the fuck man. Messy yo. You don't need to drive fast to get people's attention. Yeah, okay, you just have to break. Yeah, you just have to break no, hard enough. <laughs> it just not so it's slow not in front of the burger store. Right? The uh, ABS kicked in, you know. Really? <laughs> have you ever tried ABS before? Yeah, my Viva. Oh, you tried? <laughs> if you've got ABS, huh? What? Oh, suspension very good. Yeah, that's the Innova X. Um, steering is too heavy. For this kind of car, if, if it is this steering mm. in a BMW 3 Series, yeah. actually the previous 3 Series uh, mm. is so heavy, you get tired driving it. Uh. I see. Uh, but, but this one is very heavy. I would imagine it being this heavy because it's such a big car. No, 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 no. nothing oh. to do with that. Okay. Because all this got steering pump. Uh. I see. It's just about how they set up the car. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think this is because to me, this car should be more. Located to maybe like ladies, us, uh. right, right, right. They have kids, yeah, family cars. Yeah. yeah. So the steering is noticeably heavier than uh, the previous Innova that I drove. The previous Innova is actually the same generation, mm -hmm. just that it's not. Yeah, I turned my neck like that <laughs> because I had a <laughs> stiff neck. <coughs> I, I just find it a bit heavy. Okay. Yeah, and. Um, I, mean, I mentioned just now steering homologation. Every car now needs to have the same, sort of like the same steering wheel. So this is practically the, the Camry steering wheel. Mm, yes. Yep. But more so, responsive. Yeah. But for this car, maybe this is like a lorry. I, okay. I just felt if the steering wheel can be slightly Sorry. larger, then I, when I rest my arm here, I can. You find this perfect for you, right? Not for you, right? No, it, I have to actually stretch to be like, oh, okay, I'm using yeah, this that's, feature. That's the give and take, uh, because yeah. actually I prefer those with a bar here. Okay. Those that has a bar here, mm -hmm. you and can slot you your palm in. Yeah, you slot your palm in and then you rest. Then your palm won't fall, fall off. Yep. But this is a good looking design, I would say. I was surprised to exactly. see something yeah. with such design flair. Very nice. In yeah. the in the Innova, this is this is straight out of Lexus, right? Very very nice. And actually, the cabin looks really really good. I think you guys can see it over here. The cabin looks really beautiful. For again, for a segment. Oh yeah, the cup holders. Okay, let's turn left. Use your own handphone holder. Yeah. Because you don't even have to have your handphone holder. You can like, yeah. put it in here, and nice. you can race. Full throttle. Yeah. Okay, traffic. And it's very quiet though. Mm. Apart from the engine rev. Uh, yeah. yeah, the rev of course will be noisy. But I think this car is very quiet. Hundred the 
hundred thirty seven horsepower. Yes. Is it hundred thirty thousand? No. Hundred thirty thousand. Yeah. Oh, about, about there. Yes, about hundred thirty thousand. Okay, this is a bargain. A bargain seven seater. But then the the Nissan Serena is also about this price. The Mazda Biante is also about this price. Those will be proper uh, people carriers because they have uh, they have the low floor, right? Mm -hmm. And then uh, they yes. have uh, easier yeah. to get up and let down. Me, let me let this idiot motorcyclist pass first. This road is so tight. You know he was Still between he's between my car and the the divider. the divider. He just cannot pass because of my side mirror. Uh, but he's so near to everything. Yeah, idiots. So those are proper uh, people carriers with uh, sliding doors, mm -hmm. with a very full height, you know, yep. we call that full height mm -hmm. cabin. Yep. So when the doors are, because the floor is very low, Easy the you door open, yeah. and you can literally walk in. Yep. Yep. Right, a tall room. This one doesn't, this one is a uh, body on frame, it's, uh, no, it's a leather frame chassis, so it came off the uh, Hilux, um, everything is mounted on top, so it's more passenger car like inside here, it's just that it's perch high mm -hmm. but you mentioned you rather prefer this kind of styling mm. than the braid van styling right yeah these are braid vans for you right yep. yeah I'll those look this. really really no. soccer mom yeah i would actually prefer this it's very nice also. yeah and i think it's a i think it's and they up their standard as compared to the previous innova mm -hmm. i wouldn't look twice for the previous innova this is just design wise like yeah yeah yeah, yeah i wouldn't yeah. look twice like oh yeah you know, but this one was like wow yeah this looks good yeah. proper interior proper exterior design yes. just that the the black wheels are not to everybody's 17 face, inch right? my yeah. my miata is 17 inch yeah 17 inch Black color, black color, rims. yeah, yeah. So they go the sporty route yeah. this round, and um, I think that's why they 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 made the steering so heavy, right? yeah, yeah. But uh, even though this is rear wheel drive, <laughs> I I wouldn't treat it like a sports car, but it's not it's not bad to drive, and I like the uh, the seat adjustment of the driver's side. You get yes. to adjust up and down. Yes. Oh, the seat base gets to go up and down, so I like that. Different than the passenger, it's different than the passenger. What totally the passenger different. Has, yeah. yeah. Passenger is manual, right? Yes. And you don't get manual. to adjust up and down. This one you can adjust the angle of the seat base, which is which I, I really think, like. I think, yeah, I think it makes sense lah. Cause mm. for the driver, yeah, you need to adjust all that so that you get a good sitting position. But ah, for your def passengers. Definitely lah. Most of the time, the driver driving. Yep. And uh, I like, I like these high quality cheap plastics yes high yeah. quality cheap plastics <laughs> they're hard but they are not harsh yeah they're hard but not harsh right these are okay and, and again I, I need to say again i really love the sun visors <laughs> and it's easy on the eyes yeah you don't come in and you're like you're on two yeah like on both sides you're like thinking whether it's like okay is this cheap plastic is this not you know what the fuck did i touch <laughs> I was trying to swipe oh, it. Oh, you want disc? You no, but disc. I want I want to yeah. swipe it. I just want to swipe it. This whole thing flip up. Because you won't put disc. But can you cancel it? Eh, uh, put. This is a. Uh, Help us. This is well, not. We can put SD card here also, guys. No, how do you cancel the? How do you <coughs> let it go go back to where it's supposed to be? I I'm afraid I'll break it. Oh, sorry. No, I was just trying to swipe. There okay, we go. So what, you have to what press this close. Okay, so just now I was trying to swipe. Then you press on disc or something. Never mind, never mind. I don't want to press this now. Yeah. I just want to see whether it still does the, the stupid thing last time. What does it do? Okay. Earlier on, when, when, when Toyota first have this unit in all their cars, right? Mm -hmm. The moment your car is moving, mm -hmm. you re literally can't do anything with it. Okay. Now, I think it's not so crazy anymore. It's quite responsive, the touchscreen. It is okay. Yeah. And uh, it, now we're driving, it yeah. actually allows us to do yeah, something with it. Through, yeah. Last round when I reviewed it, I was like, why the hell do I need to pair up my phone yeah. to the car? You know what, what happened earlier on? What? You pair up your phone with the old, older unit, right? Mm -hmm. You pair your phone up, mm -hmm. someone call me, 
Okay, and yeah. then the line got cut off. Yeah. I try to call him back. He cannot. I'm Didn't asked to. You. I'm asked to stop the car. I mean, if I stop the car, I won't use this yes, device to call correct. my friend. I will use my phone. Yeah. Yeah. Right. But I think now they improve it. They change it, which is yeah. really good. Yeah. And now I have a phone. Can we just cancel it? <laughs> you know why I cancel it? Because you guys are watching. <laughs> if you guys are not watching, I'll pick up the phone and reply, and then press speakerphone, put it in between my legs, and then I'll be talking to my balls. Legally. <laughs> Actually, I don't know. I don't know. That. I mean, when I see a random number, ah, fuck it lah. I don't care. Most of the time, it will be, Hi, sir. I'm representing this bank. Would you like... Hey, why am I talking in Trump's <laughs> book? Hi, sir. I am talking to you representing this bank. Would you like a 300 million loan? <laughs> I give the best loan in the world. Hi, Rudy, this is for you. Oh, fuck. <laughs> 9 11 Turbo. Nice. I like the older one. Yeah, the older ones are old. I don't know. The older designs are so much nicer. Yeah. This is the Porsche 997. You can tell from the plate <laughs> that this guy does not have a life. He bought a Porsche. What plate would you like, sir? Uh, <laughs> frantically looking for number mode. Uh, let's give it 997. <laughs> oh. <laughs> People who bought a 318i BMW yeah. and they put a plate 3181. You know, people who bought a 520i, they put a play 520. You guys, you guys got no life. What man. about those people that buy a Mercedes and put a BMW plate? <laughs> what do you call those people? Um, they're confident. <laughs> Confidante, you know. Yeah, because yeah, the time there was a run. On a German car. <laughs> there was a run of BMW plates, right? Yes. Earlier on. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, back to the Innova. Yes. Very, very, very decent family car, I would say. Yeah. If you bought this, yes. you did no wrong at all. Hence, you cannot join Evo and Duro. <laughs> <laughs> it's a nice car. Okay, it's a decent car. It's, Do you it's feel a... the need for speed when you're behind the wheel? No, 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 no. no right? No, no. Of course not. Like it's okay. just. It's just chill, you just drive smooth, you know, very good visibility, very practical yes. car, it yes. does everything, everything you need. It's what Toyota is at its best. This is a fridge. <laughs> a very good looking fridge. A very reliable fridge. A fridge that is not expensive but huge, serves its purpose. You don't go home missing your fridge. You expect your fridge to work yeah. day in day out. Yeah. Uh, you won't take a selfie with your brit with your fridge. Correct. Maybe you would with this lah. Right. <coughs> People feel proud when they buy cars. Right. It's a nice car. Nice family. It's a family car you can car. lend to your friends lah. Like oh, you're going to KL. Yeah, nah, take the car. Oh yeah 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 yeah. Take the car. Yeah, it's not, not like ah oh, shit. It's not. Down halfway it's not a car that you will not lend your friend. You will not let your land your friend, right? Yeah. Being I wanna go Uruyam, can I borrow your MX5? Right? Right? It's not a car you wouldn't lend your friend. Yeah. 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 It is a car that oh you want yeah, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh you lost it uh. Insurance pillow. Insurance pillow. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is the kind of car. It is emotionless but it's not without passion I would say because those people when they build this car they have a I certain think, yeah. objective they in mind they put a lot of thought into it yeah, 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 yeah. I it think they put a lot of thought very practical very Cup nice holders, everything yeah very well built quality easily build get scratched la. La. it's okay I really think the build quality is much better it's, it's okay everything yeah, is very solid yeah. <laughs> everything is very solid nothing nothing shakes nothing or jokes or yeah, nothing yeah. Except, Except that, that sound. weird sound. <laughs> yeah. That weird sound. <laughs> 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 yeah. Yeah. Except that weird sound. Other than that is it's a no-brainer. It's a no-brainer driving yeah. this car. But your parents will like it, your family will like it. Everyone will be comfortable in this car. Yeah. But
but it's not very stylish uh. even though uh, they styled it up uh, 10,000 I mean it looks 10,000 times better than know. previous Innova yes, I would correct. say uh, but it also becomes it also puts you in the spotlight whereby oh look at the guy Innova with spoiler mm -hmm. and a black rim you know sometimes you would rather not be picked up by the radar we just drive a car I just bought this car for normal usage only I'm not I, I, it's not like I want to try to be stylish oh that's a Rolls Royce on a trailer Rolls Royce on a trailer let's go oh, fuck man let's look at the Rolls Royce this doesn't look like car delivery right mm, going track <laughs> <laughs> what <laughs> This doesn't look like... Oh well, it looks like it has a puncture or what, I don't know. You know this road, they changed the lane markings? Yeah, so, so now, there's no emergency lane. Yeah, there's... Yeah. yeah. See that's the thing with people, when the markings say no emergency lane, then, oh yeah, you're right, you're okay. But when the marking say got emergency lane, oh, why the fuck you drive there? What did people bring down? Then, when there's no emergency lane, what did people bring down, right? Yeah. Same thing, right? $130,000. The, the problem is this, I think. The problem is, when you just want to buy a car that does its work, mm. seat seven person, mm. uh, something that won't break down, mm. something that is just for the use of it mm. will you buy this or 130,000 for a few year old Toyota Alpha a used one because these cars are meant to be worked right yep, yep, correct. they won't break down <coughs> right yep. That's the question. That's a tough question. Yeah. So if you're someone who don't like people to pick their nose, stick on the steering wheel, and then next time you hold on your steering wheel and then you lick your hand, then you buy a new car, lah. Yeah, because there are people like that. Uh, if you don't like human liquid <laughs> or substance, substance. Yo guys, what's up? Bobby here. That's the Innova X. Yeah, these days, uh, they all hate me so much, they only give me these kind of cars. Yeah, that's the Innova X, and look at it. The Innova is now a completely, completely different car from when it first arrived in Malaysia, right? When it first arrived, it is more like a uh, uh, utilitarian car, but look at it now. You have a totally different exterior design uh, is thoroughly revamped you have a large large gaping grille and you have these design details that runs into the lights everybody seems to be doing that now eh? everybody is trying to blend in their headlamps into their grills i have no no idea why but everybody seems to be doing it everybody's just just trying their best to, oh, I need to hide my headlamps into my grills. Anyway, uh, is it good looking? It's rather good looking. I have to admit, it is not bad looking. Uh, I like the, uh, the shoulder that is very, very pronounced that goes from here all the way towards the rear. That's being inside. All the way here. And then you have like this broad, jutted out rear tail lamps. Toyota has been rather daring with this design recently. Uh, it's as if they're going through a design revolution. But um, all the things that they're doing now is rather expectable from other brands. It's just that they're, just, they're doing it now. But I welcome this, you know. This kind of characterful lines that goes up, that blends in with the spoiler. These are nice touches from Toyota. So this is the 2-liter X. I mean, at first we remember that we have the Camry X, right? Now they have this Innova X, okay? So just driven the car, the car's not bad. But look at the exterior first. Rims, 17 inch. Yes, a 17 inch rim. 
might not sound uh, crazy in, in today's world because every car seems to have oversized rims. But from where the Innova's humble beginnings was, 17 inch on it is rather big because it is used to be a big budget MPV. But um, I'll show you later on now how they touch up the car. But at the core of it, this is still a leather frame chassis MPV. But I have to say, Toyota now, they mix the best leather frame cars. I mean, it's so comfortable inside there. There is very little feel that this one is uh, came from a, a leather frame chassis, okay? It doesn't jut around, bop around. Projector headlamps, some LED stuffs that uh, at least allows them to claim that this car has LED daytime running lights. But I mean, I welcome that nonetheless, okay? So look at the side profile. This car's profile, even though in terms of pricing and functionality, this challenges the uh, Serena Hybrid, the uh, Mazda Biante, but they are practically very, very different cars because no matter how this car is limited by that ride height because it rides off a Hilux platform, it is rear-wheel drive because it's a, it's a pickup truck chassis without the uh, differential that sends power back to the front. They remove that thing and then now it is a very strong leather frame chassis with rear wheel drive and on top instead of putting the Hilux body shell they put the Innova body shell they put in a lot of soundproofing they designed the car to look really really good and proportionate I would say the the, the front the A pillars all that this car looks good in fact if Toyota were to give it a different name instead of giving it Innova if they give it another name they could sell the car at a higher price I would say Okay, this car comes with keyless, 2 litre engine, um, it's a very decent interior, very nice interior and overall the whole car looks good, decent, functional. Uh, character no lah, huh? it is still not a sophisticated car, it is still not an expensive sophisticated car. You have the uh, tyres mounted below so retrieving it might not be that easy okay but other than that I think this car is a good-looking car and a uh, value for the money not bad yeah hi bang <laughs> so now this car has ambient lighting just like your mercedes-benz said that uh, you cannot change the color but i think this is a nice color and uh, you can change the intensity of the lighting look at that look at that okay there's no indication when are you at the max but it's all right so you have dedicated aircon control panel at the rear so you have aircon vents over here you also have uh, let me turn it around. Aircon vents here. You can see them. So both middle row and third row has aircon vents. <laughs> now, um, we discussed about this just now. So what Toyota has done this round, instead of having the second row as a three-seater, now they have the second row as dedicated two-seater. And then the rear, you can see the seat spreads from the left to the right full because they need to maximize the seating capacity at the rear. The rear actually seats three person or in Toda's ideology, I would assume is three kids. Why? Because there's an opening here now where the kids can actually walk to the middle row and go out from the car in uh, in a very easy manner. So when you imagine you have a big family, you have mommy, daddy, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, yeah, popo, <laughs> and then the kids at the back. So the, the the grandma grandpa can actually sit on this really comfortable really super wide seats and then uh, they have their dedicated armrests 
and then the kids can all scurry behind three of them happily noisily behind okay there are some holders and all that but i don't see a charging port or whatsoever at the back i don't see them doesn't mean they don't exist sometimes i miss out things uh there are two usb ports over here yep and then you have trays so when the apple boy is not around the kids actually can sit here you can hang something on here you have a cup holder that looks pretty high quality very very sturdy and then you press this to retract it which is pretty all right and then uh, if i want to maximize my leg room so if i want to maximize my leg room i actually stretch all the way behind and I'll try my best to shift the front seats all the way there. And now I sit like a boss. Literally. But oh, mosquito, mosquito, mosquito. But the seats are still pretty high up. I, I'm perched quite high up. So, um... I can see a thigh there. Yeah. Uh, long distance will be slightly uncomfortable. But uh, this is a small complaint nonetheless, okay. Overall, this is a comfortable car to be in. It's quiet. And um, the buyers will understand that they bought this. I mean, this is not 300000 or 400000 like those Alpha of Elfires. But, um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Mosquito is dead. <gasps> Sorry, Bang. Sorry. Oh, uh, okay, okay. <laughs> okay. Yep. <laughs> That's the Innova. Let me see how... Oh, oh my God. Uh, let me... Okay, this can fold flat. And uh, let's go to the rear. I think that could fold flat as well. Okay, it has an electronic release, but it doesn't have power boot. But it's alright, for this segment, I don't mind whether it has power boot or not. So put, to put down these seats, you need, you need your forehead. So you need your forehead, and then you press the button, and you press it down. And then uh, is there a lever that I can reach? Easily reach, okay. Ooh. Look at this guy here. He's like, dude! Let me use my forehead again. Push it down. Pull this lever. And it falls flat. Not exactly. Look at this. It's a huge bulge over here. But I believe there is some trick that... This is how you do it in a car. A Toyota so you see that so you use that to hook this up and that's how it lets you maximize space now it gives you a little bit more space to put your luggage and all that but you can see this is a very rudimentary approach right because primarily uh, primarily this car sits on a leather frame chassis so what that means is the whole leather frame chassis the whole car sits on top of a frame so that's the reason why they cannot build a floor that is low down that could maximize the available space in here remember the uh, uh, kia carnival you're able to hide the seats inside here hide the seats in then you get an extremely large uh, load floor but you can't do that with an Innova, okay? You can still pull this up. Of course, you have to take out this thingy here, which I'm a bit lazy to take it out now. But basically, this part also folds up, and you can imagine it being dangling like that, left to right, and then you get a larger space, but then you get a narrower space as well. So what this tells us is that this car has its limitations because it is a leather frame platform. Okay, so given that it's leather frame, that's the best you can do. Of course, that can go up as well if you remove the headrest. 
and then you see the floorboard which is very very high considering this car is rather tall but because of the frame that absolutely huge frame can you see this frame over here this is the leather frame and this entire body shell sits on top of the leather frame that's the reason why this car is tall yet it has a very high floor very low ceiling and that's the available room that they can play with uh, it's a limitation but this also means they are able sorry Bing to do all this never mind I'll sit at the back I'll just sit at the back sorry sorry They are able to achieve all this at this price because it's a leather frame. Yeah, but soundproofing is good. Uh, interior amenities is good. My camera is not turning. It keeps looking at Bing. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah, so that's how this car is. 130,000, not a lot of money. A lot of car, very big car, not a sophisticated car. Uh, but it does its purpose and uh, it goes places it's presumably not I don't think whether it's uh, if you are a heavy footer I don't think it will be efficient because uh, but you can just drive smoothly and all that yep that's the Innova X oh this button this button is very high quality it feels like those anodized setting chrome button that you find in Mercedes Benz's uh, mix and match between stuffs going on here but a very very good effort I have to say this car um, Toyota did a fantastic job in tarting up what is supposedly a rather rudimentary platform if Mercedes-Benz were to put in so much effort into the V-Class it would have made the V-Class a much better people carrier of which Mercedes did not the V-Class is a nicer dashboard than the Vito, and that's about it. So, if Mercedes put in the same effort, then... Yeah, the V-Class could have been a very, very nice car, but it's a very missed opportunity for that. Cheers!